In the journey of faith, it's easy to focus on building virtuous habits, drawing closer to God, and living according to Christian values. But as much as positive actions are emphasized, it's equally important to reflect on negative habits that might be holding us back. Even C.S. Lewis, a leading Christian thinker, advised that self-recognition of one's errors is the first step towards sanctification. While adopting Christian virtues is essential, it's just as vital to let go of behaviors that hinder spiritual growth. Let's dive into seven detrimental habits that Christians must actively work to overcome for a fulfilled, faith-centered life aligned with God's will. 1. Pride, the root of all obstacles. Lewis famously regarded pride as one of the most insidious barriers between humanity and God. Pride encourages individuals to put themselves at the center of their universe, effectively edging God out of the picture. This self-centered mindset creates a division between a person and their creator, preventing the flow of divine grace. Pride, in its essence, is a desire to see oneself as superior to others. Lewis described it as the catalyst for many other sins, a cunning force that drives individuals to elevate themselves above their peers. Pride isolates individuals, leading to a relentless pursuit of superiority, often achieved by putting others down. When people are constantly comparing themselves to others, they are trapped in a cycle of judgment and self-importance, which obstructs their ability to develop empathy and compassion. Proverbs chapter 16, 18 warns us, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Overcoming pride begins with humility and the willingness to look beyond oneself. Recognizing that all people are equal before God allows us to break down these barriers, creating space for love, understanding, and compassion. We can find inspiration in the life of Jesus, who humbled himself even to the point of death on a cross. By following his example, we learn to shift our gaze upward, seeking God's grace rather than human validation. 2. Neglecting spiritual disciplines, missing the lifeline. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to push spiritual practices to the sidelines. Yet, neglecting these disciplines, like prayer, scripture study, meditation, and fellowship, disconnects us from the very source of our strength. These are not mere rituals, they are means of communicating with and drawing closer to God. Prayer, as Lewis saw it, is the soul's breath. It's an intimate dialogue with God, providing direction, comfort, and peace, especially in life's challenges. Studying the Bible nurtures our minds and spirits, filling us with God's wisdom to navigate our daily lives. Meditation, on the other hand, allows us to pause and listen to God's voice in our hearts, an often overlooked but essential practice that helps us remain grounded and aware of His presence. Engaging with a faith community offers a space for support, guidance, and shared growth. It is in these spaces that we receive encouragement, inspiration, and a sense of belonging within the body of Christ. Forsaking these disciplines can lead to a superficial or even distant relationship with God. Like a plant without water, our faith withers. Regularly engaging in these practices is akin to nourishing our spirit, helping us grow in understanding, strength, and love for God and others. 3. Rampant consumerism, the idolatry of materialism. In today's culture, consumerism often competes for our attention, making it easy to fall into the trap of materialism. When acquiring wealth and possessions becomes a priority, God's place in our lives begins to fade. Consumerism distracts from spiritual purpose and makes material goods an idol. Jesus warned against this in Matthew chapter 6, 24, stating, No one can serve two masters, you cannot serve both God and money. The drive to accumulate more can be deeply unsatisfying and empty. Material possessions are incapable of filling the spiritual and emotional needs of a Christian soul. True contentment and peace are found in our relationship with God. As Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 4, 11, 13, consumerism encourages a mindset of never enough, which is incompatible with the Christian values of contentment, gratitude, and generosity. When our focus shifts toward material gain, our ability to look outward and help others diminishes, closing our hearts to empathy, kindness, and genuine love. To combat consumerism, Christians are called to practice simplicity and generosity. Learning to live with less allows us to appreciate what truly matters. Prioritizing spiritual wealth over material possessions and freeing us to use our resources for the benefit of others. 4. Indifference to others, apathy in a connected world. Indifference can take many forms, from ignoring the needs of those around us to failing to act in the face of suffering. In our interconnected world, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the magnitude of problems and to justify an action by thinking that one person can't make a difference. But Christianity calls for a proactive love for others. 
As Jesus said in Mark 12, 31, love your neighbor as yourself. Indifference weakens community, isolates individuals, and blocks the flow of compassion and kindness. Jesus modeled active compassion throughout his life, healing the sick, feeding the hungry, and advocating for the marginalized. Christians are urged to follow his example, recognizing that apathy directly contradicts the second greatest commandment and leads to a spiritually unfulfilled life. Acts of compassion are fundamental to a Christian life. By stepping out of our comfort zones to help others, we mirror the love of Christ, cultivating a sense of connection and purpose. Living out love requires us to be aware of those around us and to be willing to lend a hand, offering support, encouragement, and friendship. 5. Promotion of skepticism over faith, losing sight of God's promises. Skepticism, when it results in a complete distrust of faith, becomes a significant stumbling block. The Bible teaches us to have faith even when things are uncertain. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see, Hebrews chapter 11, 1. There is value in a questioning approach, as it leads us to seek understanding and truth. However, excessive skepticism can overshadow the very foundation of faith, discouraging trust in God's promises and fostering a negative, cynical outlook on life. C.S. Lewis, once a skeptic himself, eventually found that true understanding and fulfillment lay in faith, not doubt. His intellectual curiosity, combined with faith, led him to see that Christianity provided the answers to life's deepest questions, satisfying the need for meaning, purpose, and love. Christians are called to seek answers with an open mind but must also recognize the importance of trust and belief. Embracing faith means accepting that some aspects of God's wisdom are beyond human understanding. Faith reminds us that God's ways are higher than ours, helping us to remain hopeful and resilient amid life's uncertainties. 6. Unforgiveness, holding on to bitterness. Forgiveness is at the heart of Christianity. Jesus taught forgiveness as an essential practice, instructing us to forgive others as we have been forgiven, Matthew chapter 6, 12. When we refuse to forgive, we create a barrier between ourselves and God's love, which disrupts our spiritual growth and leads to bitterness. Unforgiveness harms us more than it harms those we are unwilling to forgive. Resentment is a destructive force that can damage relationships, hinder peace of mind, and block our connection with God. Hebrews chapter 12, 15 warns about the dangers of bitterness, which can defile many aspects of our lives. Forgiveness liberates us, providing the peace and joy that God intends for us. To forgive doesn't mean forgetting or condoning wrongs, it is an act of surrender, releasing the offense and allowing God's grace to heal us. This practice is transformative, renewing our hearts and minds, allowing us to live in harmony with others, and reflecting the mercy that God extends to us. 7. Resistance to change, limiting spiritual growth. Faith is a journey, and change is an essential part of this journey. Spiritual growth often requires transformation, letting go of old habits and embracing new ways of living according to God's will. Yet many resist change out of fear or comfort in the status quo. Resistance to change can prevent Christians from experiencing the fullness of God's plan. By clinging to the familiar, we close ourselves off to the new opportunities, blessings and growth that God wants to provide. Romans chapter 12, 2 calls us to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, a call to constantly grow, adapt, and deepen our relationship with God. Being open to change allows us to grow in wisdom, compassion, and understanding. As Christians, we should embrace change as part of God's refining process, trusting that His guidance will lead us toward greater spiritual maturity and purpose. Christianity is not just about following a set of rules but engaging in a transformative relationship with God. To truly embrace this faith, we must regularly reflect on our actions, thoughts, and habits. Recognizing and letting go of these seven detrimental habits, pride, neglect of spiritual practices, consumerism, indifference, skepticism, unforgiveness, and resistance to change, brings us closer to God and allows His grace to work in our lives fully. By seeking humility, prioritizing spiritual disciplines, practicing generosity, showing compassion, fostering faith, forgiving others, and embracing change, we walk in line with God's purpose for our lives. These practices are not only acts of obedience but gateways to a more profound peace, joy, and fulfillment rooted in the love of God. May we commit ourselves to this journey of transformation, seeking to reflect God's love in everything we do, and allowing our lives to be a testament to His grace and goodness.